Hello everybody and welcome back. This week we are going to be making my little patch panel for all the electronics, so essentially a little rack to hold them all. The first thing to design are the rails. So I've got physical server rails, they are 16 units and I needed them to be 8 units, but we needed to go into CAD, design them all, that way we can put them in the model. Once those were designed and built, we can drop them in the model and we can start on the next part, the actual patch panel. So I bought a patch panel off of Amazon. I'm gonna have four of them in total for the beginning. Essentially, I can keep buying as many as I need up to about 16 of them, which is a whole lot of RJ45s, but we might need them. But essentially, we modeled the patch panel, that way we can, again, throw it in there, get all of our measurements correct, and we can build things so that they work. So now that we've got the rails and the plate, we can start putting them into an assembly together, but then we need to figure out the spacing between the actual rails and the, or between the front and the back rails, that way it's actually a structure, not just a rail with some patches in it. So I decided to use a piece of MDF between the two and essentially just screw it in. So design my little piece of MDF. The idea is to make it the exact width of the cockpit. That way I can either extend or mount onto the cockpit and it'll be relatively flush. But with that piece made, we can essentially drop all of those into a full assembly and drop them into the actual assembly. And with all of that CAD work done, then we can head over into the real world and start actually making it. So the first thing that got made was the two server rails. I essentially had to cut them so that I had four rails, a little bit of deburring, nice, simple, not super hard step, but very critical. The second thing was to pre-populate the panel, which is just to put a whole bunch of RJ45 jacks in there. I figured a couple was okay for now, and I can keep putting them in later. Then I took the designed MDF cutout, marked it onto the MDF, and actually cut out the MDF. Nice, simple, just two cuts, nothing super complicated, but super effective. Then we're to the assembly step. That's always the fun one, where we essentially took the left and the right rails, we screwed the patch panel into them, that way we got our vertical, pulled them out as far as I could, just for a spacing reference, and then screwed the MDF to the back of it. So the idea behind that one is essentially to get two of those set up, screw them both into the MDF panel, put another set up top, and it will make a little box. Long term, I'm going to make sides for it and top, bottom, etc. That will be essentially a self-contained box. But for now, this is a good prototyping setup and it should work pretty well. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me build this guy. There are three more of these coming so that I can put more layers as well as the second half because I'm going to need that. Then I'm going to screw them into the base and this is essentially going to be the controls for the entire cockpit. All the wires are going to go from the side consoles into here and I'm going to use this, put my electronics on the center, and essentially this is going to become the hub. I'm hoping it doesn't get any taller than this, but if it does I can always buy longer rails. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me make this little patch panel rack essentially where I can put all my electronics and I'm going to make one of these purely for testing purposes so that way I can just plug in the wires, go out to a breadboard and then I can pull the wires exactly where I need them. So I'll probably have one of these instead of putting it in the rack, I'll put it over on the side for now and we'll just build up layers as needed. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me make this, and we'll see you guys the next episode.